Well, the only instrument the world community has and has partial ownership of, a collective sort of body that has experience and expertise in what's called nation building is the United Nations. The United Nations um, is the only instrument that has pulled together an international um, uh, an international group of expertise that are experienced in Kosovo um, and East Timor, and those are just recent examples, that they have the best role. They are um, the only sort of entity that's equipped with the experience and the expertise to do the job right, to have that level of um, disengagement from particular political interests, from particular economic interests, um, and can relate to being a accountable and transparent to Iraqi people. They are the best ones to be equipped with the rule. And what we've seen is that they have been completely and utterly marginalized from the scene. So that brings us to the point is that if the interest and the intention is to build the state, to promote democracy, to have an accountable state that's democratic and responsible and accountable to the citizenry in Iraq, then why aren't those that are best equipped with running that job having the center stage? Paul Bremer, who is the US point person in Iraq, is essentially carrying out and sort of opening up the shop of a colonial office under the euphemism of an aid and reconstruction office. Paul Bremer does not have the expertise of building states. He doesn't have the experience or the education or the background um, in, in terms of working, for example, in Kosovo, East Timor. What he's an expert at is um, creating, and, and he stated very clearly, creating a country that is open for business, maximizing trade liberalization, the fundamentalism of neoliberal policies, opening up the country um, to US corporatism. And so overnight, we had this massive privatization where United States, United States corporations such as Bechtel, Halliburton, received million dollar contracts with you know caps of billion dollars to come in and start to privatize these economies overnight which has led and has led quite intensely to bankruptcy of of national um, owned um, of firms and as well as Iraq's capability of of governing its own and and issuing its own economic policies this is really alarming um, because what it has done is it cripples and it weakens indigenous ability to, um, to compete.